Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on multiplying algebraic terms. So this is when we have an algebraic term here, an algebraic term here, and we're multiplying the two together. Now when you want to multiply these algebraic terms, you multiply the numbers first. So we've got the 3 times the 2, which is just 6, and then we look for any letters. Well we've just got the x, so we're going to put the x here. And that is it. This next one's a bit more complicated. So again, we start by multiplying the numbers first. So multiply numbers first. So the, so the 3 times the 4 is 12. And now we've got this x times the x. Now when you have x times x, you actually get x squared. Now if you remember back to the video on powers, when we write, say, 3 squared, what that means is taking two 3's and multiplying them together. So 3 squared means 3 times 3. So similarly, x squared would mean x times x. And that's indeed what we have. We've got x times x and that gives you the x squared. And the 3 times 4 was this 12 on the front. Remember with algebraic terms, the number should always go on the front. And if you've got any variables, they should go in alphabetical order. This last one here, we've got 2x times 5y. Again, we multiply the numbers first, so 2 times 5 is 10. And then we've only got this single x here, we're not multiplying it by any other x's, so that just stays as x. And then we've also got this y. And remember in algebra, when you have two things next to each other, that just means that you're multiplying them together. So x, y means x times y. And indeed, that's what we've got. We've got x times the y, and that gives you x, y. But we prefer not to use a time symbol in algebra where possible. And just to note about this alphabetical order, if I had, say, 6y times 5x squared, then again we do the 6 times the 5 first, multiply numbers first, is 30, but we should put the variables in alphabetical order. So out of the x and y, x comes first in the alphabet, so we should put this x squared here first, we're keeping the power on the x, it doesn't disappear, and then we've got this y after, which comes after x.